When can we expect it to be approved by Congress, and what will it mean for you and your family? Grover Norquist is with me right now. He's the president of Americans for Tax Reform. Grover, it's good to see you. Thanks very much for joining yeah. us. We want you to get to the nitty-gritty, Grover. Uh, we wanted you know, to hear from Carly in terms of what is possible, but we really want you to do a deep dive in terms of what this tax reform package looks like. Uh, what do you expect? Sure. First, understand that there's going to be two tax cuts. One is getting rid of a trillion dollars in Obamacare. There are 20 taxes in Obamacare, including they increase capital gains taxes in Obamacare. When we abolish Obamacare, repeal it, and that got, was, uh, is being moving forward on reconciliation, that's a trillion dollar tax cut. We tend to think of it as repealing Obamacare. It's a huge tax cut, also pro-growth. Then we get to tax reform, tax reduction. That has an, it's going to be released by the House as they work out the final details within 100 days. Then within six months of uh, Trump becoming president, it will have passed the House, the Senate, and Trump will sign it. What we have is a Trump package, which came during the campaign, and a House package put together by Paul Ryan and Chairman Brady. Those packages over the last eight months, the two sets, have been moving towards each other. Trump put on the table, everybody wanted to take the corporate rate from 35 to 25. Trump said, let's go to 15. Right. So the Republicans in the House said, we can go to 20. Uh, it's expensive to go to 15, but we'll go to 20 and we'll look to 15. Trump did not have full expensing in his original package. It was in his second package. So the two most pro-growth parts of tax reform, full expensing, so businesses don't have long depreciation schedules, uh, but de expense in year one. Uh, when an investment makes make, that's going to speed up real investment. Hmm. It's going to make it less expensive. And then the second part is taking the corporate rate from 35, highest in the civilized world, down to 20, which makes us competitive with the rest of the world. We should go to 15 eventually. Yeah. Uh, they're also looking to have a territorial tax system. And because there is this consensus between the president, the House, and the Senate, and Republicans have been working on this, for almost a decade. Right. Uh, we haven't been able to pass any tax cuts under Obamacare, or under Obama, but we've been working on writing it. Trump is sort of in the same zone. That's why Reagan got it all done in nine months. Right. And he was up against Tip O'Neill. Okay. We have a Republican House, Republican Senate. That's a really, that's a really good point. I want to ask you about the timing of it, though. You say nine months, <clears throat> Reagan got it done. Listen to what Ted Cruz told me on Mornings with Maria on the Fox Business Network mm -hmm. on Friday. Listen to this, Grover. This summer, fall, we're going to do a second budget reconciliation, and, and that is intended right now to be the vehicle for hopefully really meaningful and impactful tax reform. Okay, summer or fall. Mm -hmm. Grover, we both know that the markets have been rallying on this expectation yeah. that tax reform is going to get done in the first 100 days or at a minimum the first six months. He just said summer, fall. What's your take? In the first 100 days, <clears throat> we'll know what it looks like. And it will include that it takes effect starting January 1st of this year. So the market is wise to say the rate's coming down as of January 1st and full expensing as of January 1st, 2017. So people can be making decisions on investment, on repatriation of uh, American corporate earnings overseas. And as you were saying, all businesses, large and small, see a 42% cut in the corporate income tax. A lot of individual small businesses right. pay through the individual rate. That rate's cut 42% to 25%. So it is a cut, however your business is structured, mm. if it's business income, it, the tax is cut 42%, which is extremely powerful. I think we're gonna be at the early end of what Ted Cruz was talking about, six months. It's also gonna have in the tax package, in reconciliation, many of the spending reforms. Mm. So while you might see some people waiting to see if we could add some things in, which I think would be very good, block granting all the welfare programs out to the states, saves trillions of dollars yeah. uh, over the years. You, you make a really good point in terms of business and the impact there. Very quickly, Grover, does the estate tax go away for individuals? Yes. What about individuals who are watching? How is their sure. life different? Very quickly. Okay, top rate goes down to 33%. The death tax is completely gone since the first time since World War I started, uh, and the AMT gets abolished as well. This is a very important set of pro-growth, uh, pro-savings reforms. All right. We will leave it there. Grover Norquist, uh, just a fountain of info this morning. Thank you so much, sir. We will see you soon.
that. Grover Norquist there. How soon will President Trump fill the vacant seat on the Supreme Court? That's also on the agenda next two weeks. That's what Mrs. Uh, Missouri Senator Roy Blunt and chairman of the inaugural ceremonies will talk about coming up. We're looking ahead right now on Sunday Morning Futures. Back in a moment. And the torch has been passed as Donald Trump officially becomes our 45th president this weekend. The inauguration surrounded by pomp and circumstance with Mr. Trump taking the oath of office on the Capitol Hill steps. My next guest helped kick off the entire ceremony.